I have already created my lesson, but I still have to add questions and content to it. So I first turn the editing on, then I go to the lesson and I see that I have different options. I can add a branch table or add a question page. The other options are not so interesting for us. We will start by adding a branch table. A branch table is a special kind of page to which you can add content and in which you can create links to other pages. So it's very suitable to create a table of contents for your lesson. The page title is Olympic Games. I can add page contents if I want. And now I will add different descriptions. Okay, the first part of my lesson will be about the history of the Olympic Games. And I will jump to the next page. The second part is about the Olympic Games today. And the third is about special types of Olympic Games. I can choose to which page I jump with each uh, part. So I will jump to the next page with the history of the Olympic Games. And later I will adapt the jump for uh, the Olympic Games today. When I will have created those pages, I can adapt and I can jump to that page immediately. Okay, I click on add a branch table. And now I see that my branch table has been created and I can start by adding a question page. Now I first have to choose which question type I want. I start with a multiple choice question about the ancient Olympic Games. Here I can add some content about it or the question I want to ask about it. I will do both. I will first provide a text about the Olympic Games. I paste it here and then I add my question about it. When did the Olympic Games take place for the first time? Now I can add the different answers and the responses. So the answers are the options that the students can choose. The responses are the feedback that they get when they choose an option. That's not the correct answer. So I can choose to stay on this page then the students can read the text again and give the right answer and they will get a zero for this answer. The second possibility is the right one. So the students jump to the next page and they will get one point. The third option is not correct, so I stay on this page and the student gets a zero and finally okay, this question is ready so I click on add a question page 
and I see that this question has been added. Now I will add a second question. So I click on add a question page here. I choose a numerical question. The page title is Olympiads and I write my question here. Make sure you write your question in the page contents box because the page title is not displayed to the students. Now I can add some different answers and the responses. So I add four. Very good. Students go to the next page and get one point. But of course, if they answer three, they are almost correct. So I can say that if they answer three, I say almost correct, try again. But they stay on this page and they get to zero. Other answers that are not the right answer will also be um, displayed as false. I'm ready so I click on add a question page and I see that my numerical question has been added. I will add a last question about the ancient Olympic Games. I click on add a question page here and this time it's an essay question. The page title is End of the Ancient Olympic Games and this is my question. Explain which factors contributed to the end of the Olympic Games. They jump to the next page and they get a 1. So I click on add a question page and this one is ready. This branch about the ancient Olympic Games is ready so I can add an end of branch. So when the students end the essay question they get to the end of branch page and they are immediately transferred to uh, the main page about the Olympic Games uh, at which they can choose to start another branch. Now I can start to make the second branch. The second branch is about the Olympic Games now, the modern Olympic Games. I will add a question page and it is a true-false question. It is about wrestling. That's the page title. And the question is... Wrestling is a summer Olympic sport. True or false? The first answer is true. That's correct. So the students go to the next page and they get score 1. The second answer is false. That's not correct. So they stay on this page and they get to zero. Add a question page. And this question has been added. As I said in the beginning, we will make sure that there is a link created when the students click on the Olympic Games today they have to go to the page about wrestling to start that branch so we will update this branch table you see an overview here of all the pages and I can choose wrestling I click on save page and I see that my jump has been adapted. I will add one more question in this branch. 
it's a matching question. about years and cities. The students have to match the right year with the right city and country. I have to uh, say which response the students get when it is correct. And when they give a wrong response. Now I have to fill in the answer and uh, what matches with each answer. Here I have to say what happens when they give a correct answer. They go to the next page and they get a 1. When they give a wrong answer, they stay on this page and they get a 0. Okay, I have entered all my answers and the matching answers, so I click on Add the question page. This branch is ready as well, so I click on Add an end of branch. Finally, I will add the questions for my last branch, so I click on Add a question page here. And I will ask a short answer question about the Paralympics. The question is What is the name of the Olympic Games for people with disabilities? The right answer is correct so they go to the next page and they get a 1 but of course they can always write it with a little p and that's correct as well so they go to the next page and get a 1 2 this question is ready so I click on add a question page and I will adapt the jump for the third branch, Special Types of Olympic Games. I click here on Updates. I go to Special Types of Olympic Games. And I choose the page Paralympics. Save page. I will add the last question of my lesson and that's again a true-false question about the Winter Olympic Games The Winter Olympic Games are held in the same year as the Summer Olympic Games, true or false? This is false. That's the correct answer, so they go to the next page. And with the incorrect answer, they say on the same page. I had a question page. And my questions are ready, I just have to add an end of branch. Before the students can really use this lesson, we have to do one last thing. In the first branch table, we have to add a end of lesson link. This link will go to the end of lesson and then the final grades will be displayed to the students.